math and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about graphing inequality. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's first, an open point, or you may call it a dot, means that the number is not included in the solution. And so, for example, x is greater than 3. So if we have a number line, and we have we have uh, 1, 2, 3, then what we would do would be greater, but it is not included in the solution, so I would round, it would be open, and the arrow would be drawn in that direction, okay? Next, we have x is less than 6, so we have an, another number line, okay? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, we draw, it is open, and then it's going to be less than 6 to be drawn in that direction, okay? A closed point, or you may say a shaded dot, means that the number is included in the solution. And so x is greater than or equal to 3. So we have one, 1, 2, 3, and this is greater than, so it is shaded in and would go in that direction, okay? So again, when you're graphing inequalities, the tricky part is remembering it, is it open or closed, okay? And then let's do one more. x is less than or equal to 6. Then what we would do, again, we have a number line. Hopefully you guessed it by now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it is less than 6 less than or equal to 6, so it is shaded in. Okay, so let's look at a couple other examples you may encounter. And I've got a sheet with some of those. And that is, let me blow this up just a little bit. You may encounter this where you have or. If the inequality has or, the graph points in two different directions. And let's go back and review what I had. Notice how we have less than, so it is open, and we have greater than 8, so it is open. Okay. Or you may run into where it says, and if the variable is in the middle of two inequalities, the graph will, will be between the two points. Okay. So this would be whenever you use and, you would have an inequality that looks like this on the number line. 4 is less than x and less than 9. So that would be the solution. Okay, so why don't we work one or two more examples of these. Um, okay, we have x is greater than or equal... Oops, you can't see that, sorry. x is greater than or equal to 10. Okay, so now we have... Let's go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have greater than or equal to 10. So that means that it is going to be included, so it will be shaded. Okay? Now we have, and that's, sorry about the messy handwriting here, x is less than 2. Okay? Now 1, 2, and it is less than 2. So it is an open. Okay? How about this one? X is less than or greater than 5, or X is greater than 8. Remember, whenever you have or, they go in different directions. Okay? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll do 8 here. So it is greater than or equal to 5. So I'm going to circle and color in, okay, and then it is uh, less than 5, so that's going to go in this direction, and then it's going to be greater than 8, and so that will be open. Okay, I hope that helps with graphing inequalities. Let me go over this one more time, just as a quick review. Remember, if it is um, greater than, it is open, less than, open, greater than, or equal to, it is closed, less than or equal to, it is closed, and I didn't go over, 
not equal, we have the open. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.